శ్రీ సచ్చిదానంద సద్గురు సాయినాథ్ మహారాజ్ కి జై శ్రీ సాయి సచరిత్ర చాప్టర్ థర్టీ ఫోర్ గ్రేట్నెస్ ఆఫ్ ఊది కంటిన్యూడ్ డాక్టర్స్ నెఫ్యూ డాక్టర్ పిల్లే షామా సిస్టర్ ఇన్ లా ఇరానీ గర్ల్ హార్దా జెంటిల్ మ్యాన్ ముంబై లేడీ దిస్ చాప్టర్ కంటిన్యూస్ ద సబ్జెక్ట్ గ్రేట్నెస్ ఆఫ్ ఊది అండ్ డిస్క్రైబ్స్ కేసెస్ ఇన్ విచ్ ద అప్లికేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఊది వాజ్ మోస్ట్ ఎఫికేషియస్ డాక్టర్స్ నెఫ్యూ ఇన్ మాలేగావ్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ నాసిక్ దేర్ లివ్డ్ డాక్టర్ క్వాలిఫైడ్ అండ్ డిగ్రీ హోల్డర్ హిజ్ నెఫ్యూ సఫర్ ఫ్రమ్ అన్ ఇన్క్యూరబుల్ డిసీజ్ ట్యూబర్క్యులర్ బోన్ యాప్సిస్ ద డాక్టర్ అలాంగ్ విత్ హిజ్ రిలేటివ్స్ అండ్ మెడికల్ ప్రాక్టీషనర్స్ ట్రైడ్ ఆల్ సార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ రెమిడీస్ అండ్ ఈవెన్ సర్జరీ దెర్ వాజ్ నో రిలీఫ్ అండ్ నో ఎండ్ టు ద లిటిల్ బాయ్స్ సఫరింగ్ friends and relatives advised the parents of the boy to seek divine aid and recommended them to go to sai baba who was known to have cured such incurable cases by his mere glance the parents therefore came to shirdi they prostrated themselves before baba placed the boy before him and pleaded humbly and implored him to save their son the merciful baba comforted them saying those who resort to this masjid shall never suffer anything in this life to the end of the time now do not uh, do not worry apply udi on the abscess and within a week he will recover believe in god this is no masjid but dwarka mai he who steps here will soon get health and happiness and his sufferings will come to an end the boy the boy was made to sit before baba who moved his hands on the affected part and cast his loving glances on him the patient was pleased and with the application of the udi he began to recover and was all right after some days the parents then left shirdi with their son thanking baba for the cure which was affected by udi and baba's gracious looks after knowing this the doctor the uncle of the boy became wonderstruck and desired to see baba while he was on his way to mumbai for some business at malegaon and manmad somebody spoke to him against baba and poisoned his ears therefore he dropped the idea of visiting shirdi and went to mumbai direct he wanted to uh, spend the rest of his leave at ali bag but at mumbai he heard for three consecutive nights uh, nights a voice still you disbelieve me then the doctor changed his uh, mind and resolved to go to shirdi he had to attend to a case of infectious fever in mumbai which showed no signs of quick abatement so he thought that his shirdi trip would be postponed he however proposed a test in his mind and said that if the patient gets all right by today i will start for shirdi tomorrow the wonder is that exactly from the time when the determination was done the fever the fever began to abate and the temperature became normal then he went to shirdi as per his determination took baba's darshan and prostrated himself before him baba gave him such experiences that he became his devotee he stayed there for four days and it and home with baba's udi and blessings within a fortnight he was transferred on promotion to bijapur his nephew's case gave him an opportunity for seeing baba and uh, this visit garnered in him a never failing love for the saint's feet dr pillai one dr pillai was an intimate devotee of baba he was much liked by baba who always called him bhau brother babu uh, baba talked to him often don and consulted him in all matters and wanted him always at his side the this pillai suffered once very badly from a guinea worms he said to kaka sahib dikshit the pain is most excruci- excruciating and unbearable i prefer death to it this pain i know is for repaying past karma but go to baba and tell him to cease him pain cease the pain and transfer the balance of my past karma to 10 future births of mine mr dikshit uh, mr dikshit went to baba and told him in uh, request told him his request then baba being moved by his request said to dikshit tell him to be fearless why should he suffer for 10 births in 10 days he can work out the sufferings and consequences of his past karma while i am here to give him temporal and spiritual welfare why should he pray for death bring him here on somebody's back and let us work and finish his sufferings once for all the doctor was brought in that condition and was seated on baba's right side baba gave him his bolster and said lie down and calm lie down calmly here and be at ease 
the true remedy is that the result of past actions has to be suffered and got over our karma is the cause of our happiness and sorrow therefore put up with the whatever comes to you allah god is the sole dispenser and protector think of him always he will take care of you surrender to him with body mind and speech and then see what he does Dr Pillay said that Nana Saheb had put a bandage over the leg but he had no relief Nana is a fool replied Baba take up that bandage or else you will die now a crow will come and peck at you and then you will recover while this conversation was going on Abdul who was always cleaned the masjid and trimmed the lamps turned up while he was attending to his work his foot accidentally fell upon the stretched leg of dr pillay the leg was already swollen and when abdul's foot fell upon it and pressed it all the seven guinea worms were squeezed out at once the pain was unbearable and dr pillay cried out loudly after some time he calmed down and began to sing and cry alternately then pillay inquired when the crow was coming and pecking baba said did you not see the crow he won't come again abdul was the crow now go and rest in the wada and you will be soon all right by application of udi and by taking it orally with water without taking any other treatment or medicine the disease was completely cured in 10 days as assured by baba shama's sister in law shama's younger brother baba ji was staying near the salihir once his wife was attacked with bubonic plague she had high fever and two bubos in her groins baba ji rushed to shama at shirdi and asked him to come and help Shama was frightened but according to his own custom uh, he went to Baba prostrated himself before him to invoke his aid by requesting him to cure the disease he also asked his permission to go to his brother's house then baba said don't go there at this late hour at this late hour send her the udi why care for the fever and bubos god is our father she will be all right easily do not go now go there in the morning and return immediately shama had full faith in baba's udi it was sent with baba ji it was applied on the bubos and some of it was mixed with water given to the patient for drinking no sooner was it taken in perspiration set in profusely the fever abated and the patient has a sound sleep the patient had a sound sleep next morning baba ji was surprised to his see his wife all right with no fever and no bubos when shama went there next morning the baba's permission with baba's permission he was also surprised to see her in the kitchen preparing tea on questioning his brother he learned that baba's udi cured her completely in one night then shama realized the significance of baba's words go there in the morning and return immediately after taking tea shama returned and after saluting baba said Deva what is this play of yours you first raise a storm and make us restless and then calm it down and comfort us baba replied you see mysterious is the path of the action though i do nothing they hold me responsible for the actions which take place on account of prarabdh destiny i am only their witness the lord is the sole doer and inspirer he is the most merciful neither i am god nor master i am his obedient servant remember him constantly I am his obedient servant and remember him constantly he who cast aside his egoism and thanks him and he who trust him entirely will have his shackles removed and will obtain liberation Irani's daughter now read the experience of an Irani gentleman his young daughter got fits every hour when the convulsion came when the convulsions came she lost her power of speech her limbs contracted and she fell down senseless no remedy gave her any relief some friend recommended baba's udi to her father and asked him to get it from kaka sahib dikshit at ville parle suburb of mumbai then the irani gentleman got the udi and gave it mixed with water to his daughter daily for drinking in the beginning the convulsions which were coming hourly came every 7 hours and after a few days the doctor the daughter recovered completely harda gentleman an old gentleman of harda was suffering from a stone in his kidney such stones are generally removed by surgical operations and people recommended him to undergo one he was old and weak lacked strength of mind could not think of submitting himself to a surgical treatment his suffering was soon to end in another way in another way the inamdar city officer of the town happened to come there at that time 
He was a devotee of Baba and had always a stock of udi with him. On the recommendation of friends, his son got some udi from him and after mixing it with water, gave it to his old father to drink. Within five minutes, the udi, the udi was assimilated. The stone was dissolved and came out through his urine. An old man was soon relieved. Mumbai lady, a woman of the Kayastha Prabhu caste in Mumbai always suffered terrible pain at, at her delivery. She was very much frightened each time she became pregnant and did not know what to do. Sri Ram Maruti of Kalyan, who was a devotee of Baba, advised her husband to take her to Shirdi. When she next became pregnant, both husband and wife came to Shirdi, stayed there for some months and worshipped Baba. After some time, the hour of delivery came and as usual, there was obstruction in the passage from the womb. She began to suffer labor pains, did not know what to do, but began to pray to Baba for relief. In the meantime, some neighboring women... Some neighboring women turned up and after invoking Baba's aid, gave her Udi mixture to drink. In five minutes, the woman de delivered safely and painlessly. The issue was still born according to its fate, but the mother who got rid of anxiety and pain thanked Baba for the safe delivery and ever remained grateful to him. Bow to Shri Sai. Peace to be all. Jai Sai Master.